Hi everyone. Welcome back. This is Vicky Slikes. Vicky. Sergio. My husband. And we are a couple that loves orchids and we travel hundreds of miles to bring you shows, events, but sometimes we don't drive and we stay home. And this is our first haul. Well, actually it's not. No, we've I think done, we've done maybe a we've, couple. We've done hauls. Uh, yeah. However, we don't have videos. Um, if you watch our other video on the growing space and how uh, we have to redo it and a new area, watch that video. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was kind of hard to do uh, the whole videos. And I know many of you have been asking for yeah. uh, a whole video. Um, if you're new to this channel, uh, check us out. Check all our videos. Videos are great. We get the feedback from our viewers uh, in in situ, yes. when we meet them in person. Right. Uh, we have a couple of videos about uh, people's collections, uh, viewers' collections. They're great. Mm -hmm. uh, song, we've done two videos on her collection. We did Pete and Nelly, and thank you so much. Um, we're going to do a few more, so stay tuned. Yes. Um, again, if you're new, please subscribe, share, like. You know yes. how it goes. We want to build this community um, of uh, orchid-loving uh, people. That's right. And mm -hmm. we are doing it one viewer at a time, one watch at a time. Yes. Thank you all. But anyways, so let's dig in. I know. So we can talk about, you know, the new babies. Right. So with that being said, we're going to start back here. And, oh, by the way, this is a haul from the Vero Beach oh, yes. Orchid that was a Society very, Show and Sale. It was a very nice show in a very nice location, and the weather was even better. Watch the video, please. Yes. Okay? It was awesome. So, starting here. Look at the array of colors. These we got from Lady Vanda, okay? Uh -huh. And Mr. Lady Vanda. <laughs> Serena and Ernesto, even the baby was there. They're yes. beautiful family. We love them. Serena shares so much knowledge every yes. time we uh, uh, see her. So here we are, these Mokara uh, Vandas and their son-loving Vandas, um, except that uh, when you get them like these, you have to slowly... Uh, get him uh, used to the sun. You can't put him straight to the sun, okay? And again, watch the video so you can find out everything about um, how to grow these, mm -hmm. all right? So um, another thing I wanted to point out, guys, when you buy plants, I know the, the beautiful thing is to look at the flowers and the more flowers and, and this and that, and that's fine and dandy. However, Flowers are going to come back, okay? So who cares if the flowers are dying or there's no flowers as long as you know what the plant is and, and, and you are comfortable growing that plant. And very, very important is the root system. So I tried, I, you know, she had a bunch of them on a bench and, and that's usually how they sell these. So I went through one by one and I picked out the best uh, plant with roots, okay? That's very important. Forget about the flower, okay? As long as you know, you know, it, it was nice to, to see the flowers, mm -hmm. so we... Can identify or say, we, okay, this one's this right, color. Right, this color, I like this color. I, yes. I, you know, Vicky liked, you know, pretty much, she chose pretty much all of them. All of them. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, um, yeah. So we're going to take you one by one and show you what um, the name of the plants are. Okay, let's put the glasses on so we can give the name of the plant. Aranda Walter Wame White Spots. Let's see the flower. Again, the flowers are uh, on the way out, but you can uh, still appreciate what uh, the flower looks like. Yes. And help you um, 
choose the, the plant, whichever you like. Yes. Next is? This one. Is Beauty. Yes, I love that color. This one is Aranda Todman. Again, look at the, the roots, uh, what I said about the roots. You know, um, I try to do my best, and this one is? This one is Aranda Walter Wami Calypso. Look at the color. I mean, wow. Let's open it a little bit. And the one that's next to it is Aranda Madame Pani. Beauty. And this one had two spikes. Yes. Yeah. Look so, at that here. Yeah. I and think that's then, the only one that had two spikes. Yes. And then this one. Look at this beautiful color here. It's like a red, right? Yeah, it has like a, a red with dark pink. And this one's Aranda Dinah Shore. <gasps> Dinah Shore. There was a famous person named Dinah Shore. Really? <laughs> yes. Actually, I have to look it up, but I remember that name. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. By the end of the video, I'll find out if I am correct. So I went into my Google search um, and I was right. Dinah Shore was an actress and a singer. So I wonder if this was named after her because it's literally spelled exactly how she spelled her name. Dinah Shore. That is amazing. I'm really curious. I'm going to have to continue searching. Hmm. For those of you that didn't know about Dinah Shore. Uh, next, and actually, this was the last, uh, the last stop, I think, yes. pretty much. Yes. But when we first... Well, actually, no. We went to someone else afterwards. Orchid then. That's why. That's why. So, you know, we are we are not going in order, but that doesn't no. matter. Yeah. Okay. So the first uh, the first plant, uh, pretty much, I think the second or third booth was uh, a lovely couple that reminds us a lot about us mm -hmm. because they are always together in all the shows, yes. all the presentations, and they are Phil and Liz Hamilton. They're a lovely couple. Right. You know? Yes, from and Brethren. Brethren Orchids. Yes. We're going to show you the plants. So, um, no, this is from the Orchid Den. That lovely So, one there. Uh, we've gotten, and uh, we've told you this before, we love Encyclias, mm -hmm. okay? And there are several reasons why we, lo we love Encyclias. Uh, the ease to grow the plant. Um, they smell delicious. Mm -hmm. Right now, the fragrance yes. is like on both of them, right? Yes. And so, and, but also, they grow uh, in warm uh, temperatures. They grow in Florida. As a matter of fact, uh, we got uh, tampenses and cyclia tampenses we got from uh, Gemini orchids, mm -hmm. remember? The Nature Coast Orchid Society watched the video. Um, we interview, as you all know, but for the new one, new people in the channel, we interview the vendors. We interview uh, how uh, they grow the plant. Uh, that's what we are saying. You know, follow us, and you're going to learn a lot. Yeah. Not only from us, because we are, you know, we know a little bit but we'd rather get the experts to talk about everything, okay? Yes. Because they know, they have the experience. They know 
how this, the plants, the plants they sell, this is their uh, forte, mm -hmm. okay? Correct. So going back to Braden, because we get lost in the, <laughs> you know, um, encyclias. We've gotten a few encyclias from Braden, and um, I love their tags. You know, yes. they're one of the, the people that have the best tags. Yes. Because they have, you know, pretty much all of them, they show the name of their business, but um, they, they state the name of the, the plant, mm -hmm. the crosses, and then there is a little, you know, of course they can't feed too much information in that, but they teach, they, 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 uh, they show, or they write here. Can you read it? Um, well, this one says Encyclia Cordigera, what, um, FMA, Rosea, and then Liz Hamilton, which is for the spouse. Of, so um, this hybrid was named after Liz Hamilton, yes, uh, Phil's his, wife. Yes, his spouse. And the... The fact that it's an FCC yes. AOS yes. makes it more special. Yes. And okay. It was crossed with um, Encyclia Cordigera, FMA Rosea, Brethren's Dark Knight. Right. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I don't see, but in other tags, for instance, look at this plant. Okay. Look at this beauty right yes, here. Yes, and we got that one there um, as well. This is? This one, Encyclia Bailey Genovese. I love that name. And then it says in parentheses, Alada crossed with Randii. And then here, um, it's- The culture the, yeah, is what culture, I'm saying. Culture, grow and bright, diffuse light, let media dry between waterings. Okay, so I, I love that, okay? Yes. Um, and, uh, this one, these two we got from the orchid den, mm -hmm. and this is a beautiful dendrobium. Yes. Beautiful dendrobium. This one is called Dendrobium Tiny Twister. And this one has a spike, no flowers, but the flowers are so beautiful. Yeah. And I'm going to uh, put the picture up here. And it's, um, I don't remember, it's an INCDM, Incidium uh, popcorn, popcorn Highland. High um, and this is a, uh, an intergeneric, it's in the family of Oncidiums. And it was mounted. It was, it was mounted on, on um, the lovely. The um, lovely mounds, yeah, clay that mounds he that he makes himself. Yeah. Okay. Again, watch our videos. We visited his nursery. Yeah. Uh, the orchid den, yes. and he has beautiful plants. Mm -hmm. And also, he makes his own pottery. Yes. Okay. That's really nice. Watch our videos so you know what he makes, and visit his uh, website, uh, Instagram, and you can order these. I love this color. I mean, it's, it's like... It's lovely. I, I, so, this one... We were in a pickle because there was like two... This this one's a darker one. And was the other one more like pink? It was, it was a lighter like lip. Pink, right? This is, this is uh, more intense, you know? Mm-hmm. So, go ahead. Um, Liz, Liz said, brought up yeah. the fact that this plant had a darker lip. Yes. And Virginia also liked the fact that it was a darker lip. Yes. So, Not that I didn't have any, you know, I would have taken both. Right. You know, I don't know. But, you know, the chi-ching. Maybe, maybe next time. <laughs> maybe chi next time. Maybe next time. Yeah. But um, this color is just like so yeah. vibrant. The smell is delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. But it's just like... I just stare at it, you know? It's hypnotizing, how about that? Again, guys, encyclias are very easy to grow. They love being mounted. Mm -hmm. um, 
I mounted several of them, and this is the time of the year to do it. Um, you mount them on uh, cedar, um, watch our video on, um, you know, a little bit of our collection and um, a little bit of a mess that we have <laughs> uh, with the plants. But these plants are awesome. Yes. Okay, awesome. Uh, so, yeah, mount them and they'll be beautiful. So, moving on. This little guy. Well, I say guy. I know that, you know, but, you know. They are all girls. Okay? They're all girls. <laughs> um, this was from Springwater Orchids. Yes. And, and this is a, a path. Philip. Philippinense. Album. Album. And then it says cross with uh, Sib, S-I-B. A sibling. Sibling. Oh, okay. And we had acquired uh, the darker version of this. Yeah. Because this is like um, like a miniature, and uh, we acquired uh, the other plant from from him um, at the Bonnet House, and that video is beautiful. Okay, you gotta watch that mm -hmm. video. Um, we show uh, little clips about the house, the Bonnet House, historic house in Fort Lauderdale. But the show was great. And it we have really an interview was. with uh, Jose, Jose, the owner of Soroa Orchids, which we also have a video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have videos about everybody. We sure do. That's great. <laughs> um, very, very good interview. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the organizer of the show every year. And every year they get more and more uh, people to go, go to the show. Okay, then... Then we went to Ritter Orchids. Ritter Orchids. And I'll tell you, I love Phalaenopsis. I do. You know, I... They're beautiful because, you know, you can bring them in and, you know, you have them inside the house. It decorates your home with a, a natural you know, decoration. <laughs> they are and not plastic, okay? Not Some people say phalaenopsis are plastic. Yeah, but no. Um, they are not. not these. <laughs> <laughs> not the ones that we have. But um, I love them. And I love to bring them in the house. And, you know, it's, it's something, you know, whatever tickles anyone's pickle, you know? Yeah. Maybe somebody yeah. doesn't like phalaenopsis. I do, we do, we bring them in. And so we got... <laughs> and we love Ritter Orchids. Yes, lovely family. Linda is the mother of the two uh, great girls, yes. Patricia and Cynthia. Yes. And the brother wasn't there this time. No. He designs the pots that they sell, the 3D, uh, 3D yes. pots. We bought one. Yes. But they're a lovely family. They are. Okay. And it's always a pleasure to go there. And they're always so sweet. And they're and very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. Uh, yeah. Cynthia and Patricia, has, uh, they have a, a YouTube channel. Yes, they do. Uh, Orch the Orchid Sisters. Orchid Sisters. And they haven't done a video, but... Um, but you can look at them because... You, you can let, look at the older videos. Yeah, they're um, so informative. I know. So this beauty here i fell in love with i just love it so this one is phalaenopsis good luck to you jasper okay that wasn't too bad <laughs> right i just love it and you know it has this little shimmer that i'm like oh, i just don't know i <laughs> yeah it's like if they went into my glitter and put it on themselves <laughs> I love it. And then we have this one. Look at that yellow. Man, that's beautiful. This one is Philonopsis Young Home Little Sakura Cross with Sogo Lawrence Ritter Tropic One Orchids. And when by the time we got there, they have sold a lot. A lot. They told us that all the phalaenopsis, you know, know, pretty much I was like, oh, were no. sold out. As a matter of fact, I think 
This was the last one. Yeah. They had grabbed it from under the table uh, and put it on the table. Yeah. And that's when Vicky saw it. I was like, I think we're going to have to take that one too because, you know. (laughs) And then uh, this one. This one is Philanopsis. Is Ishbeam Azuli. Azulu or Azuli I bean? I think. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> she um Miss Linda made the tag really quick there. I but, love it. Yeah, she loved it. She loved it. Yes. It's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And last this but one. not least. This one doesn't have a name yet. It has a number and they are gonna give us the name. Look at this beautiful antique rose color. Oh, I just love to admire it. We had a lot, a lot of philanopsis. We did. Okay, we, we had did. a lot. Like, I'm talking about over 70 plants, just philanopsis. And yep. uh, with the move, with which we have talked about uh, that in other videos, mm-hmm. uh, we moved from uh, South Florida to Central Florida, and we had to leave the plants um, while they built our home here. And four, uh, four neighbors, four um, friends. Right, and a family member yeah. uh, took care of the plants. <laughs> so uh, that year in the winter, even in South Florida, the temperature dropped, so yeah. it killed a lot, of, a lot of plants. And then when we brought them up here, you know, uh, it takes time for them to acclimate. Yeah. Uh, in winter, there is like 20 degrees difference I from know. where we are to South Florida. Yeah. So we have to uh, cover the growing space with a plastic and put heaters and a fan. But again, that's in another video. Yes. Um, and then, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a beautiful plant. And again, uh, I'll put up a picture. This of it. one, um, it's also a, from Ritter Orchids. Oh, we got a little ant. <laughs> it's a Vanda, and it's called Pinky Violet Queen. So it's a smaller um, size Vanda. From but what I um, beautiful flowers, right? Um, with a smaller uh, flower, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, what do you do? Do we have to take it out of here? Uh, you could. You know, okay. Vanda's, um, Vanda's love to be, like you know, that. this the good thing about Vanda's, okay, and I, I pretty much don't have any preference uh, for orchids. Maybe I do, but I, I, I like them all. I right. like all species, especially species. Uh, but Vanda's uh, are very easy to grow. And down here in Florida, you you know, basically, you know, pretty much all epiphyte, meaning that they live on trees and, and canopies uh, attached to trees. Mm-hmm. Vandas don't require a pot, uh, media. You know, many people do have them in media, but uh, the way they grow in, in nature in mm-hmm. the wild is just attached to a tree. Um, they don't require, like, media or, like, you know, um, they don't grow on the forest floor, but you know it, they're very simple, very simple to take care of, Just and they grow to be <laughs> yeah specimens. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, and I wanted to show the basket yes. that we got, and um, so we got this um, this basket that we loved, and uh, it's made out of cedar. We're gonna try it the first time. We uh, we are gonna use a basket like yeah. this, but it's it's beautiful. You could either hang it or put it um, like sitting on a surface like this. Yeah. Or take a picture like this. <laughs> but um, I think I like it hanging better. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I like it. it it'll look cute hanging. Yeah. And um, that was it? This is it. I, it should be it. I mean, like, look at the amount of things that we have. 
<laughs> so stay tuned for uh, many more videos. Yeah. We are loving it. Yes, it's a lot of are. work. Uh, it's a lot of work, uh, you know, uh, driving, uh, doing the videos. Yes. Mind you, it's only on the weekends. Yeah. Yes. Because, you know, you know I work full time. My husband works part time. And, I had uh, to take a part time. I'm retired. Uh, but I had to take a part time to fund this <laughs> um, addiction. Yes. Healthy addiction. Right, yes. Jane? <laughs> And, um, but we are loving it. Uh -huh. uh, it's fun, it's, uh, it's healthy, it is uh, rewarding. Yes. Uh, again, thank you to all viewers that we meet in person. Thank you all uh, that made comments uh, yes. all the time. We really appreciate it. It feels like, you know, um, that we accomplished something. When we get a comment and we read it, not that we get a comment, when we get the comments and we read them, you know, it feels like, okay, you know, I'm doing this and it's not in vain. You know, it, it's not that it's in vain, but we, we like it because we get the feedback and, and you know, um, it, it makes us continue. Yep. Yeah. So, um, too bad we didn't do this before because then we would have been on YouTube since the get-go. <laughs> I know. I mean, since the get-go, seriously. Yeah. But, so. you know, it's never late. Then, you know. Yep. So we are doing it. Late. We are getting uh, thousands of views, thousands of uh, watch time hours. Yes. Uh, thousands of comments, likes. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And thank you. with that... See you next time. Remember to leave a comment, a like, a share, subscribe if you haven't done so, click that bell, and uh, let's keep uh, enjoying all of nature. Bye. See you in the next video. Where do you think you're going to put this one at? Hmm. I guess they're just going to have to stay tuned and see where we're going to hang them. Yep. Oh, boy. Is it going to be a surprise for me?